Greetings, Roosevelt School District families. This school year, Roosevelt School District provided students, teachers, parents, and guardians with a new tool, a learning management system called Canvas. Today, I would like to teach you how to set up your family account by following a few simple steps. Again, this is the second video in this series, Sign Up for Canvas as an Observer. Parents, guardians, or family members can sign up as an observer in Canvas. Observers can link their Canvas accounts to their students' account so they can see assignment due dates, announcements, and other course content. Observers can view the course content but cannot participate in the course. This lesson is for observers who do not have a Canvas account and want to observe their students in their courses. In order to create a Canvas account, you will need the Canvas URL associated with Roosevelt School District. It is iamrsd.instruct.ure.com. Simply stated, iamrsd.instructure.com. Let's begin. To observe a student, you must have a pairing code. Please watch the video in this series titled Pairing Code to generate your login information if you have not already done so. If you have that pairing code already, please proceed through the following simple steps. First, open the Canvas URL in a browser window. I will demonstrate that for you on the screen. It is imrsd.instructure.com. Simply hit return and you're going to see the home page pop up where you log in. Second, click the parent sign up here link. Parent, click here for an account. You're going to see that some information is needed. That's the third step. I want you to go ahead and enter all of that information. Because I already have an account, I'm going to sign up as if I was a parent and wanted to link to my account. So I'm going to go ahead and put my dad's name here. I'm going to put his email address. Let's see here. Okay, and then I'm going to use the strong password here that is recommended, but if you have a password that you'll easily remember, you might want to put that and then re-enter it into the spaces provided. Because I already have a student pairing code because I watched the first video, I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And so I have three uppercase Z, nine, five, uppercase Z, and then lowercase n as the pairing code. I'm going to go ahead and click the I am not a robot. All right. And then I'll go ahead and complete the CAPTCHA form. So I'm going to click on the buttons that see select all images with tractors. So I see a tractor there. In the top row at the right, I also see one in the second row at the beginning and the third row at the beginning of that row as well. I'm going to verify. All right, that indicates that I'm not a robot, so I will go ahead and click the Start Participating button. All right, it looks like I'm paired with my student's account. Remember, I logged in as my father, so that way he can now view my account. Remember, students can generate pairing codes from the user settings um, in their own Canvas accounts. All right. Finally, you can begin observing your student in Canvas immediately after following this process. I hope this helps. Enjoy using Canvas, and thank you so much for watching today.